Hello everyone and welcome to Algo Test. So today I am here to break some myths. Some myths about our platform for some reason have inculcated over time. Does SL hit on candle close or LTP? We'll break the myth today and we'll find out right now. So let's get to Algo Test. So here I'm at the Algo Test dashboard where I'll simply go and create a strategy. Now the myth starts here let me create a simple strategy let's say we sell a straddle at 920 with a leg wise sl of 30 percent and an overall sl of a thousand rupees let me back test it for a year and let's try and understand how the stop loss works in this strategy, as you can see, we have two kinds of stop losses. One is a leg-wise stop loss and the other is an overall stop loss. How does the leg-wise stop loss hit? How does it work? Let's find out. Let's first look at the leg-wise SL. So let's imagine the entry price for the call was 100 rupees. And as my leg-wise SL is 30%, the SL would be at 130 because I've sold the call. Now let's look at all these candles and how the back tester will assess if the stop loss was hit or not. At 920, my open, low, high and close are visible in this data. Now the back tester will check the high price of the 920 candle. And if the high price is greater than 130, we will assume that your stop loss was hit and your leg got squared off. Since you can see the high price is below the SL price, we will assume that the stop loss did not get hit in the 920 candle. Similarly for 921 and for 922. Here you can clearly see that at 922, the high was greater than the SL. The back tester will check the high of the 922 candle. Here it's clearly visible that the high of 135 is greater than your SL value, which is why the back tester will assume that your SL got hit and your trade was squared off. So what does it mean then? Is it LTP or is it candle close? It is LTP. Please check here that for legwise SL, we are not looking at the closed price, but rather the high price. So the back tester, in a sense, is closer to the LTP execution, not the candle close execution. Hence, irrespective of what you select as an execution criteria, your leg wise SL in the back test as well in as in live will always be on LTP. So let me show you here. Let me go above. Let me go to my execution settings. Irrespective of what I select in trade monitoring, my leg wise SL will always and always execute on LTP because even on the back test, I am not looking at the close price, but rather the high price if I've sold an option or the low price if I've bought the option, which is much closer to LTP in live execution rather than candle close. Now let's move on to overall SL. Here in my strategy, you can see that we have put an overall SL of 1000 rupees. What does it mean? If the strategy makes a loss of 1000 rupees, then please exit that strategy. But when does the back tester check this 1000 rupees? That's the main question. Overall SL is only and only checked on candle close data. It is not checked on high or low. Let us show this with an example. Let's assume we have sold a call for 100 rupees and a put for 100 rupees. Here we have an overall SL of a thousand rupees. 
this I am taking into consideration that I am trading in Nifty. So how many points will that be? So now let's look at how many points is my stop loss. My stop loss will be 1000 divided by 75 or around 13 points. What is my combined premium? Combined premium is the put premium and the call premium. All right. So what is my SL? My SL essentially is 213 rupees. Now, as I mentioned, the backtester will only look at the close price of your call and the close price of your put to determine the combined premium and hence determine if your SL was hit or your SL was not hit. In our first candle, we can see the combined premium was 205, then 210, then 215. Here we can clearly see that the 215 is greater than the 213 combined premium that I have and which is why I can assume at 922 the SL was hit. Which SL? Overall SL. Now let's see how the execution of both these SLs happen. As we mentioned that legwise SL in the backtest is closer to LTP because we check either the high or the low of the candle to determine if the legwise SL was hit or not. Hence, irrespective of what you choose here, your legwise SL will always and always hit on LTP. It will work on LTP. Now come to overall SL, which in our case was a thousand rupees. The overall SL in the backtest is only on candle close. But in live execution, you have an option either to check the overall SL on LTP basis, which is per second basis, or to check it on the 59th second of every minute. That is an option we have given so that your backtest and live trade match more closely. So here's the summary. Legwise SL is on LTP and overall SL is on candle close. I hope today's detailed analysis helped you understand how does the SL work in backtest and in live trade. We dive much deeper into the working of the backtester. How do the different features work on candle close, on LTP? How does the re-entries work? How does re-ASAP work? How does lazy leg work? How does range breakout work? To get in-depth knowledge of the backtester and the execution engine, join my course today. The link is in the description. And join my free webinar on option buying every weekend exclusively for you all. I hope to see you all there. Thank you.